What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So it appears that the RFID chips, the microchipping implants, is starting to get more and more popular now, and more and more companies are starting to implement this in their businesses. This is prophesied in the Book of Revelation, chapter thirteen. When it talks about the Antichrist system that would be in play upon his arrival. Well, the Antichrist will enforce uh, <clears throat> a special uh, marking that people will have to receive in their right hands and foreheads. Without this uh, uh, marking, mark, marking, you wouldn't be able to buy nor sell which is actually cutting you off from the economy. If you can't buy and sell, you can't take care of yourself. You can't take care of yourself and provide for yourself, which leads to starvation and death. According to the Bible, this will be the uh, 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 system that's set up in the last days as the Antichrist come and rise to power. And we are seeing that this is happening right now, that they are putting the mark of the beast in play which is the microchipping in human beings, which is also, according to the Bible, the Antichrist will be able to track every individual who has this mark and know all the information about them, which this mark or this microchip actually is created to do, to have an ID of everything about you, that's uh, connected to you. And the, and the Bible gets so graphic. It says he will put the chip in their right hands. The marking will be in their right hands. And amazingly, this is where the chip is being placed in people in their right hands. Just as accurate as the Bible says. Now. If that's true about the Bible, we will have to believe everything else is true about it. If that part is true, everything else is true about it. Why would that part only be true and nothing else? And if God wanted to tell his people anything, where would he put it? In his word. In his word. See, people under the impression, like they say stupid things. Niggas just say the stupidest thing. Man, y'all believe what was in that book? Man, that's in a book. Man, everything come from a book. Name me one thing that don't come from a book. Please explain it. Name me anything that didn't come from a book or that don't come with a book. Your computer even come with a book. Your TV electronics all come with a book. Your furniture you buy comes with a book. Yeah. Because it's in that book. You learn how to get the best out of that product or whatever it is to sustain it as long as you can. Apart from the book, you prematurely do things pertaining to that product and it end up not getting the best results out of it and it end up being destroyed before it's time. It's only in the book where you have the knowledge of understanding whatever that thing is, how it works, and how to get the best out of it, and how it can last longevity. That's the purpose of the word of God. Everything was a book. We live in a new age where everything is electronic now, and people have forgotten about books. But the source of life that always been from the beginning was books. Was books. And what they say. What's the favorite saying people say? If you want to hide anything from a black man, you what? You put it in a book. So God gave us the book. His word. Through his holy, righteous prophets and apostles. All Hebrew and Jewish. That's how you know if they qualified. So all that other stuff. If they not from the 12 tribes of Israel. 
No, you're disqualified. Simple as that. So with that being said, God set it up purposely so that we all can know the truth. Period. And he gave it to us. He covered everything. There's nothing in this book that don't cover nothing in life. Everything in life is life already been covered through this book. Everything. He finished it from beginning to end is done. Everything y'all need to know is in there. Everything. Everything. Who I am, who you are, who the enemy is, how to overcome it, how to everything is written in this book. Everything. You don't need nothing else. You don't. Now, with that being said, if you just choose to be deceived, that's on you. But the truth is here. If you really honestly want to know it. So this microchipping will be done. Um, let's read it. I'm going to read it. Revelation chapter 13. I'm going to read it. Because there's something deep inside here. Uh -huh. I'm going to read it. Um, okay. Here we go. Revelation 13, verse 9. Starting from verse 9. Um, no, hold on. I don't even want to start right there. Uh, I want to start from, okay, right here. I want to start from here. Oh, oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, I am going to start with, um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to start from verse 7. Here you go. Man, this stuff deep, man. I want to go. Ah. Okay. Dang, this stuff deep, man. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to start from verse 3. No, verse 4. Okay. Here we go. So they worship the dragon, which is Satan, who gave them authority, who gave authority to the beast. Okay. Which is the Antichrist. Okay. So the dragon is Satan. And the Antichrist is the beast. So the people worship the dragon, which is the devil, who gave authority to the beast. He gave the Antichrist his power. Okay? So the devil will be given the power of this human being, giving this human being his power. And this Antichrist, who is called the beast in the Bible, will be ruling with the power of Satan. And they worship the beast, the Antichrist, saying, who is like the beast? Who is able to make war with him? So people wouldn't be able to handle him because he would be dominating the world. Okay? And nobody would be able to stand up against him. That's why the people would be worshiping him and saying who is able to make war with him because he defeat everybody that come up against him. It say, and he was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And he was given authority to continue for 42 months. This is how long he would be ruling and doing this 42 months. Then he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. See, he mad. He angry. He hate God. 
So he blasphemed his name. He blasphemed his place of worship. And he blasphemed every body that dwelled in heaven. Because he mad and angry. And it was granted him to make war with the saints. God's people. And to overcome them. And authority was given him over every tribe, tongue, and nation. This authority was given him over every tribe and nation and to make war with the saints and overcome them. Verse 8. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. Whose name have not been written in the book of the Lamb, slain from the foundations of the world. So everybody that's not a Christian, because Jesus is the Lamb of God, so everybody that is not a Christian is going to worship him. The only person who is not going to worship him is the Christians whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life, which is Jesus Christ. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. He who leads into captivity shall go into captivity. He who kills with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Then I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. This will be the Pope. This will be the Pope who will be ruling alongside the Antichrist. When he say, I saw another beast coming out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, but spoke like a dragon. Now, the lamb represents Jesus Christ. But he had two horns like a lamb. Jesus called the lamb of God, but he spoke like a dragon. This will be a false religion uh, 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 representing itself as Christ, as Christ, but will be coming straight from the devil. It's a false lamb with two horns. But he speak like a dragon, which is Satan. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence, which is the Antichrist. So he worked together with him. He exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence. So they write that together and he exercising the same power as the Antichrist have as partners side by side in his presence. And he causes the earth, this Pope, that's who it is, we know this. And he causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast. So the second beast, which is the Pope, he causes the earth and all, he calls all the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So this is what's going on. Since he's the religious ruler of the world, the Pope is, what he's going to do is use his, uh, use his status, use his reputation and power and name to have people ship the worship from him to the Antichrist. That's how it's going to work. He's going to be the reason why the world also worship the Antichrist. Because the world look at him as the religious leader. He's the spokesperson for religion. So he's going to shift it like y'all see I'm the Pope. And everybody kissing the ring of the Pope and all this. He's going to be like, but this guy right here is greater than me. This who y'all should be honoring because this is who I honor. So they're going to see the Pope worshiping the Antichrist and that's going to allow them 
to take their focus off him and give it to the Antichrist. So this other beast is leading the warship from himself to now giving it to the Antichrist. Verse 13, he performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. See, they're going to be deceiving and tricking a lot of people. And this is how people are going to be worshiping them and following them. They're going to be seeing the, the signs and wonders that they're doing. and going to be like, oh, man, they must be a God. they doing that. You see what they did? So look, verse 14. And he deceives, trick. He tricked those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast, in the sight of the Antichrist. Telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to the beast who was wounded by the sword and live. So he's telling people to praise the Antichrist to worship him, and to make a statue in commemorance of him, an image. Watch this. Verse 15. He was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So they're going to do another one. They're going to make this image a statue of him. And he's going to give the statue power to speak. And when it speak, people going to be like, oh man, that's crazy. And people going to worship him. And everybody who don't worship him is going to be killed. Verse 16. Who is the people that's going to be involved in this? Watch verse 16. He causes all, A-L-L, -L, all, both small and great, rich or poor, free or slave, great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. If you ain't got a right hand, put in your forehead. That no one may buy or sell except those who have the mark or the name of the beast. Okay, here I come. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, which is six, six, six. Yeah, which is the number of a man. 666, which is the number of a man. His number is 666. When y'all get some time, I want y'all to understand this. This 666 number is real powerful because it also breaks down how close we are to the coming of Christ that a lot of people don't know. Now, God created man on the sixth day. And the number of God is three. Okay. God created man on the sixth day. And the number of God is three. This number 666 break down in a lot of things that a lot of y'all don't know. Okay. In the original text, this was written in. The 666 actually is translated in the name of Allah, that will be the religion of choice that the Antichrist used as his military backup to uh, bring the world under the control. Because you got to understand, Islam is not just a religion. It is a military. It is an army. Look it up in case y'all don't believe me. Look up Islam's military. It's an army. It's not a religion. It's an army. It's a religion, but it's an army. 
and it's you and it enforces. So that's going to be his power. He will be merging Catholicism and Islam together. That's why the Pope will be working with him. They take the two biggest religions in the world and they merge them in one under one army. Because Vatican City is also a military. Look up the Pope's army and military. So, so the Antichrist will come in the name of Allah. That's going to be his army and military and why they almost taking over the world right now. Islam is. So 666 is in the name of Allah. Man was created on the sixth day and the number of God is three. The number of God is three. Uh, John chapter, first John chapter five, verse seven. There are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. These three equal to one true God. The number of God is three. For Trinity, the three and one. Man was made on the sixth day. So 666 is also translated this way. Man pretending to be God. Man pretending to be God in the name of Allah. Also, the 666 get a little bit more deeper. 666 is also translated as www.com. Man pretending to be God in the name of Allah in the www.com era. That's how, see how, see how, see how strategic God is, how he break this down thousands of years ago. A man pretending to be God coming in the name of Allah. What time? During the www.com era. For 42 months. That's how long he's going to get to rule. 42 months. After his 42 months come the wrath and judgment of God. See, uh, he going to have seven years, but the first three and a, three and a half years going to be the peace treaty. Going to be the peace treaty. After the three and a half years of the peace treaty, then going to come what's called the great tribulation. Where all hell break loose. He break the treaty. During the middle of his seven years, the 42 months. So this thing real deep. I'm going to do some more deeper, deeper studies on this. But we here, y'all. We already in the www.com era. The microchipping process have started already. They have millions already with the chips. And it's starting to spread even more and more and more. We here. That's how soon we come into the coming of Christ. A lot of y'all afraid and scared because you don't want to know. You don't want to believe that we here. But guess what? You can't stop it. You're here. The best thing you could do now is deal with it while you're here. How to fix it. How to make it, make it right. Get yourself right with God first. Because here's something y'all have to understand. When this stuff takes place and all hell break loose, and according to the Bible, one out of every three people was killed during this time of the Antichrist ruling and reigning, what happened before this is called the rapture of the church. The rapture means to be caught up. That's when God removed every faithful Bible-believing Christian out of the earth. And what's left on the earth is nothing but non-believers who rejected the word of God, who rejected Jesus Christ. And what happens is they fall up under that judgment. They fall up under that judgment. And that's why they left. And it is granted the Antichrist to overcome them. So when they say it was granted him to overcome the saints, those are the believers who become believers after they miss the rapture. When they miss the rapture to, to, uh, so that they could escape this, they become believers during the tribulations and the times of crisis. 
and the Antichrist and given the power to overcome them because they believers through, 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 uh, through, through disbelief when the opportunity was given them before. And that's how a lot of y'all is. You don't want to accept Jesus Christ right now. You won't accept him when something bad happened or you missed the rapture. And now you're stuck here with the Antichrist. And if and the Antichrist is choosing you to choose a side, make your allegiance. You either going to worship me or you're going to worship Christ. Whoever want to worship Christ, I'm killing you. I'm cutting your head off. Y'all missed the rapture. You should have been saved from this, but you didn't want to be saved. So now you got to get your head cut off. And the only religion who cut off people heads is Islam. It's Islam. They're the only ones who do it. That's how come this stuff truly reveals. Truly reveals it. Um, of everything that they do. That's why this Bible, you can't get around this Bible, man. It's so fire. It answers everything. Um, um, we're going to touch some more on this. But that's what the chip is. The chip is actually given to separate. If you go through history, you are always fine. The devil always set up a system to separate his people from God people. It's always been this way. It always been this way. This system is no different. It's actually only set up to separate God's people from Satan people. That's it. That's why we clearly read that in the Bible right now. Uh, uh, we clearly read it right here. Revelation 13. It clearly said that. Look what it say. It say. Um, it was granted him. The Antichrist to make war with the saints. To overcome them. Remember, these are the saints who missed the rapture and became believers as a result of their disbelief at first. So now they have to suffer as believers because they refused to believe before. So it was granted him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and have authority. And authority was given him to overcome every tribe tongue and nation watch this verse 8 all who dwell on the earth will worship him whose name have not been written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundations of the world did jesus christ being crucified slain uh from the foundations of the world in other words before the world was even created god already knew that jesus would have to die for what was going to happen. So this ain't took God by chance. This stuff was already written. Already prophesied. We can't stop it. The only thing we could do. Is choose whose side we going to be on. God's or the devil's. So according to this. All who dwell on the earth will worship him. Who name have not been written in the book of life. Of Jesus Christ. So the only people written in Jesus Christ's book which is the book of life, the Lamb of God, like it just said, uh, the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundations of the world. It's Christians. That's it. That's why I keep telling y'all, y'all can debate and argue all you want. Only ones in heaven are Christians because it's named after God's son. That's God's son name, but not just Christians. Real, genuine, Bible-believing Christians, faithful Christians. That's it. God ain't arguing, separating religions. Uh-uh. There's only one family go to heaven. The one that's named after me, who really believe in me. Other than that, they could debate and argue all they want. I'm telling you what it is. If you don't believe in me and haven't accepted me as your Lord and Savior, no. So, it is what it is. The devil always wanted to separate uh, uh, want to uh, uh, separate his people from God people, so you can know the difference. So you can know the difference. Y'all can play these games if y'all want to. 
You keep on complaining and whining. You ain't stopping none of the prophecies. All the signs is here. All this stuff happening. You're not stopping it. And you're still being naive and afraid to come to God. Because you thinking that he finna take something from you because you're afraid and you're being a coward. And you're letting the devil just continue to use and destroy y'all. Y'all better wake up. It's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my job. And that's some question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to the channel. Join my Patreon if you're not a member of the Patreon. Stop being afraid of Christ. He here. We here. The chip is here. And putting it in people. YouTube it. YouTube RFID chip. Chip implants. Watch all the people getting it and stuff. It's here. Can't get around it. The mark of the beast is being instituted. Christ is literally coming and on the way. Don't miss out on the rapture trying to be rebellious. Or you're going to end up suffering, getting your head cut off, uh, and joining the antichrist system. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my job when that's a question. It's yours.